I won't need these anymore. Uh, excuse me, what's going on? The fountain is blessed. Exodus 23, and ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take the sickness from amidst thee. No kidding. We're looking for a friend of ours. Uh, they found his car parked out front. I haven't seen him, sorry. Look at all these people. They really believe in it. No, they're people. They don't believe anything. Mr. Monk, you should try it. You should drink from the fountain. You can't be serious. But you're in so much pain all the time. You know, what, what if there's something to it? You know, I mean, anything's possible. That's not exactly true. A lot of things are what we call impossible. It's the opposite of possible. I'll uh, give you an example. Um, this. Excuse me, um, we're, we're, we're looking for a friend of ours. Leland. He was here. He still is. Wow, it's beautiful. Is it? You say so. Hello, I'm Brother Andrew. Oh, hi, I'm Natalie Teeger, and this is Adrian Monk. <laughs> Mr. Monk and the Monk. Sorry, are you allowed to laugh? We've been known to chuckle. We're looking for a friend of ours, Leland Stalemeyer. Oh, yes, Brother Leland. Brother Leland? Uh, can we talk to him? Well, I'm afraid that's not possible. Brother Leland has taken a vow of silence. Well, could we just see him? We won't say a word. We're investigating this homicide. It's very, very important. Well, you may go, but I'm afraid, Miss Teeger, you're not permitted beyond the foyer. Continue down the hall and up the stairs, Mr. Monk. Here's the thing. 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 Here's the I can't do it. Oh, Mr. Monk, no, come on. I can't. Please. Look, there's the captain's cane. Yeah, it's part of the ritual because he didn't need it anymore. Please drink. <sighs> Natalie. What? What is it? These pills. Half the bottles are more than half from the same pharmacy. Something wrong here. Here, let's put this in your bag. Yeah. Let's, put, let's take some more. What are you doing? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm afraid you have to stay back. This may be a crime scene. Crime scene? Conspiracy. Probably fraud. It isn't fraud. It was murder. This has gone on long enough. It wasn't me. I didn't even know him then. Nine years ago, my fiancé caught his business partner stealing money and killed him. Your fiancé? Oh, and McCloskey, he filled those prescriptions. The pharmacist. Captain, Captain, you can't go to Spain without knowing the truth. Shh. It wasn't a miracle. The water in the fountain, it was all a hoax. I'm sorry, Captain. It was the pharmacist, Owen McCloskey. He killed Willie T. Here's what happened. 
Klauski killed his partner and buried him here. Nine years later, planning to renovate, body would be discovered. He couldn't dig up the body. They had built a fountain there. He had to stop them from digging. He started changing their prescriptions to make his patients sicker. That's why you never got better. He did it to everyone. He painted that sign on your door. Willie the bomb must have seen him. That's why McCloskey killed him. So he was messing with everybody's medication, making us all sicker. And then he sent us to that fountain. That's it? So after we drank, he'd give us some real medication, <laughs> making us all feel better. And it worked. The fountain became a shrine, a sacred place. Yeah, which, of course, they would never dig up. Well, so much for miracles. It's a jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's a jungle out there.